What's up everybody, Krillik here, and this is another Krillik Plays FTB, but I got a few friends with me. And hey, what's up guys? Me How's it going? German. How's it going guys? Pretty good, uh, we decided we'd help you out with your, and I'm going to die here soon. <laughs> 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 we'd help you out with your platter and just uh, and come take a look at your base over here, do a little base tour. Yeah, yeah, I definitely uh, appreciate the help on the applied energistics. Not that I don't know it, but you guys have more recent experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also, it's kind of good for us too, but uh, because when we first did it, we didn't really cover what the blocks did because we kind of assumed people knew about it. It's been out for a while. Oh, but maybe okay. we can get a more in-depth uh, explanation of what each block does and exactly how it works. Yeah, that's, that's more my style for sure. So mm -hmm. I like to show people things. Um, so... I just hit 500 subscribers as well, so that's kind of a good video time for this too. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I really, I really like the base. The base is, yeah, it's coming along quite nice. We can uh, do a little 360 tour around. Do, mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I'm sure everybody's seen it. There's a lot of quartz. I think I've mined out that Mistcraft world. Uh, no. <laughs> that, that's not possible. No, it's I mined a lot though. Uh, <laughs> I did the uh, nice little upstairs area here. It's kind of like a little paradise up top, you know. Kind of like where you would uh, chill out. Yeah. 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 yeah, chill out rich and fancy like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Posh style. Actually, these torches are cool. They're the stone yeah, torches. I, I didn't like regular torches, so I'm like, hmm, what else can I put there? <laughs> what are these called? I think they're stone torches. Hmm. Yeah, neat. and it's just um, stone instead of sticks, so stone also, rod. Also, there's mm -hmm. a torch called a uh, magnum torch, and it actually keeps mobs from spawning in a 64 by 64 radius. One yes. of my subs told me about it. It's pretty yeah. cool. That's crazy. It's almost overpowered. <clears throat> almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of the top floor. It's kind of flight-only type thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as we go down, you can see the nice... Nice pillar of nice flowing water that goes all the way through. Yeah, like your support structures up on the ceiling. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. Nice pillars holding up the upper section type thing. And there's a couple different levels, but mostly those are for show. They're going to be decorated up nice. I'm going to do a good job at that, or try to. <laughs> and down here is going to be the main work area. Brought in a little grass. I'm probably going to put in a few trees, maybe. And yeah, then trees. each quarter will have a different thing. So, And the first thing, storage. I need storage. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you're still using chests. You don't have AE yet. So uh, <laughs> yeah. hopefully, hopefully we can get some of that stuff done today. The most technical guy is still so archaic. <laughs> 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 Actually, I don't know. You guys might be taking my crown of technical. So I don't know. Well, maybe faster. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the power of two compared to the power of one. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, take a quick break. We'll get some applied energistic stuff and get to work on that. Awesome. Alrighty, we're back here, and we're just going to jump into the quick little basics, starting for the applied energistic stuff. And I think I have most of the materials here. So, uh, Midi and German, they're, they're helping out, don't worry, they are, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. got, we got big plans, big plans. Big plans. So, <laughs> so first things I'm, first. I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but they have big plans. <laughs> yeah, so German's kind of been messing around chasing butterflies, so. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna grab the quartz cutting knife here, and just one of them, not six of them. So, uh, I made that, that's a good start. I need one of these advanced processor assemblies, so we're gonna kick that up, which apparently it's not working in the shift click, but that's okay. Oh, that's why. I don't have a diamond. Ha ha ha. That'll do it. So now, if I shift click, <laughs> it should work. No, it still didn't. Okay, never mind. Ignore all of that. <laughs> So there we go, so we got that, and I'm going to make a couple gold ones as well, just while I'm here. 
And to do to get the processor, you just throw them into a furnace, like so. And we're back again to make the flux crystal. All right, so nether quartz, certus quartz, and some redstone, which just so happens I have. So that's four, I think, of each, right? And you only get one for that, right, Meanie? I think. Um, what are you making? Flux crystal. Uh, I can't remember the exact numbers. Okay, no, you do only get the one. So. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. And oh, it's the purple thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. why I know, it's that purple crystal thing. Yeah, okay. And there's the controller. Done. The next thing that I'm going to make is the ME drive storage thing. <laughs> That's what I call it, anyways. Yeah. Actually, it um, is the ME drive, okay. The chests are really useful, but I feel like the best way to do it is just really just go straight to the drive. Yeah, I think I think in the next update it's going to be better to actually use storage buses on stuff, but that's a ways away. So why? What's in the next update? Uh, they they have different settings for the storage buses. Uh, if you remember, like logistics mm -hmm. pipes, um, it basically makes it so that you can. Uh, set what goes in each chest and stuff mm. like that so you can really sort through the system quite nicely like provider and supplier pipes and stuff like that or? yeah huh. yeah pretty That's much insane. so there's the drive okay so we got these two main components um, the last one that I need and I'm gonna go big I'm gonna go with the 64k storage to start just so I can get it all in there but this is like a 40 step thing so, I'm going to make this off camera so that I don't bore Median German's uh, viewers, or mine, for that matter. And uh, we'll be right back when that happens, and we'll probably jump ahead right into how I want to set it up. And these guys can give me a hand with that, so be right back. Alrighty, so we got the 64K storage drive, and I've made a whole bunch of Fluix dust to make myself some ME cables. So let's do that and let's just make 30 that's a good start and the other thing that I need is I need this level emitter so let's make that and I'll, I want to make one of these ME storage monitors and I guess you can kind of use them as a barrel and you can pull items out of them on the fly so I kind of want this for the most used items that I'll have and what am I short on? iron again I can't count today, apparently. <laughs> yeah, they're they're really useful for some of your most used items. Like, maybe, like, iron and gold and quartz, uh, yeah. wood, you know, whatever. A little bit of cobble and stuff like that, just the general stuff. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm short one piece of glass here. Um, so are you going to build, th build stuff down here and run it all the way up, or are you just going to build it all up there? I'm going to build it all up there. Everything down here is going to be removed. Ah, okay. At some point. <laughs> In the far future, probably. Alright, so we got a storage monitor. And what else do I need to pull items out of it, you said? Uh, you need a wrench and a uh, conversion matrix. Conversion matrix. That's the little <laughs> uh, orange, green, blue thing here? Um, conversion matrix, yes. That's yes. Okay. And what I do you do it, with yeah. that? Um, you have to, right after you find an item, mm -hmm. you right click it into the monitor. It, it'll, the monitor will show how much of you, ha you have in your ME system. And then you can shift right click it with a wrench. It'll lock it into place so you can't, you know, like replace the item with something else. It'll just be there permanently. Okay. And then you can take like a conversion matrix and I'm not sure if it's shift right click it in or just right click it in. And it'll change it so you can actually, every time you click it, it'll pull items out of your ME system. It'll oh, throw them okay. at you. Very cool. Okay, so let's uh, make one of those then. Uh, look like I need another gold processor thingy. And we can do that pretty quickly. I can't wait to get this system set up with the, all the auto crafting and. Oh yeah. <laughs> like your guys's. When you make the assembler chamber and stuff, it's awesome. Yep. I, all I remember is in my single player world, I had like 
1400 ME cables ran all over the place. And it was just utter madness. But that was when it was a little bit cheaper, actually. Yeah, when you didn't have to use quartz and all that stuff. Yeah. And I think I need... Do I need another dust for this? Oh, no, just the Flux dust. Okay. Uh -huh. Alrighty. There's too many dusts. But, you know, I actually think that's a good thing. I thought uh, Applied Energistics, when it first came out, it was, it was pretty cheap to make everything. It was, other than the 64K drive, which, mm -hmm. oh, that was a pain to make. Um, other than that, it was pretty simple. So, yeah, I agree. It's good change. So, uh, are you up top there, Meaty? Or yeah, I thought you actually came up here. So oh, I I'm on my way right now. And because I am wearing a good armor, I get up here fast. Yeah, I fly really slow. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So just for right now, because I don't have any energy set up up here, I'm gonna borrow some of Meaty and German's wonderful steam power. And this will be temporary. Is it on a public? Uh, yes. Okay, good, good, good. See, this is what I needed your help for, see? Mm -hmm. Steal your power. You just want to use me. <laughs> use me. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we got our controller. We got the ME drive, and I can slot that in there like so. And this has all the different priorities and stuff that you can set, which is pretty cool. You can make it so that, you know, this first drive should be full before going to any others, so that's pretty handy. Um, by ahead. the way, this isn't connected, I'm sure you realize. But. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going below. It's got to look beautiful, remember? Mm -hmm. Look at that, beauty. Nice. Isn't connected. that beauty? <laughs> there we go. Now she's all connected up. The green light's on. That's usually a good sign, hey, Meaty? Oh, yeah, that's a great sign. <laughs> Let's see how much power you're using. Oh. oh, wow, 10 ticks. That's a lot. I know, I know. By the way, we lost German, man. He's uh, he's stuck in Butterfly Land, so... Yeah, uh, Butterfly Land. It's, it's, uh, it's frustrating. I, I basically showed him a whole nother level of bees and breeding, and we'll never see him again. So, um, mm -hmm. so it's now meaty and acrylic. So, just saying. <laughs> All right. It's down to the last two. So I'm just gonna break this. Up. Like more butterflies. Yeah. There's uh, one flying around here I haven't seen yet. Oh, that's and, interesting. And I accidentally deleted it by feeding it to the table, and I don't know what to do. Okay, so if what Meaty tells me is true on these storage monitors, I add it like this, mm -hmm. and I can input an item, like say cobble. Yep. Like so, and I shift right click with a wrench. And it should say the monitor is now locked. Or just right click. Do I shift? Uh, I think you shift right click. I think that's going to remove it, but I don't know. We'll see. Shift, right click. Oh, storage monitor is now locked. Okay. You might be able to just right click it. Here, try try right clicking it right now. See if it does anything. No, it doesn't. Okay. So yeah, you have to shift right click. So you're right, sir. Nice. And then the conversion matrix. Try right try right clicking it first. Just see if that works. Right click. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, so you have to shift right click. Shift right click. There you okay. Go. All right, and that makes it so that if I put in. Uh, some stuff which I can't do at the moment because I don't have an access terminal. Um, I can get some cobble. Let's see. Can you put it into this storage thing? Yeah, I'm using my remote order for remote order from uh, logistics pipes. It's connected to my ME system, and I have it sent to my Ender pouch. Nice. So I can order no matter where I'm at. That's awesome. Actually, I can't place anything. Yeah, we need the access terminal. But I guess if there's cobble in here, say, <coughs> like, four million stacks. Yeah, you sicky, I tell you. Like, four million stacks. Oh, wait, no, you can insert item. Oh, just on the side or something? No, 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 you shift, shift, right click it inside. Oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool. And then I'm just giving you all this cobble stuff. That's fine. <laughs> I'm low on cobble, so it's much appreciated. There you go. Nice. And to pull out, you just right click and you get a stack. Okay, so you can use it exactly like barrels. Yeah, but they're that much bigger. Mm -hmm. Aren't oh, they endless? That's also what you 
She wishes she could say that. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, so I have a feeling I'm going to be using these quite a bit in this storage setup. I think that's pretty cool. All the major items and stuff. And I think with the access terminal and crafting terminal, it'll pull from them as well to build items if need be. Plus, it looks just awesome. Oh, yeah, it looks awesome. That's the reason why I like them. It shows a nice little icon. It shows the amount you have with pretty letters. It shows and you it glows, how and powerful. It glows blue. Shows you how powerful you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My base is made of gold and have monitors to everything everywhere. Maybe I should um, just line this entire second floor of storage monitors. Um, also, another cool tip. I don't know if this is in previous versions, but you can use colored cable to change the colors of monitors, access terminals, stuff like that. I think that's still the case. If I'm not mistaken, I saw a video recently of somebody who used uh, red. And no, no, I, I was saying it's the case now, but I wasn't sure if it was the case before. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Good. Fair. Enough. Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All that. Oh. <laughs> uh, alrighty, guys. Well, uh, thanks for swinging out and swinging. Huh. Swinging out and checking out the base, how I got it here, and playing with my butterflies down there, German. And huh? Yeah, I, I think I've made a lot more of them. <laughs> That's they're, great. They're really like everywhere now. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. And I hope you guys like the base and uh, how it's yeah, setting it looks up awesome, man. and coming. And hopefully the viewers like it. And, and uh, yeah, go check out Media in German if you haven't already. They're a little bit more advanced than me at the moment, but I spent a long time on this, so... Um, not that they don't spend a long time on their bases. They're just crazy, that's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Well, nothing but free time. Slackers. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Mom's a slacker. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take it easy.